Good evening to all present here. We are immensely glad to have all of you with us as we celebrate the 47th Founders Day of Good Shepherd International School. We extend a hearty welcome to everyone. Dear parents and guardians, a few gentle reminders before we move into the official start of the program. You are kindly requested to keep your mobile phones either switched off or in the silent mode to support the smooth conduct of the evening's program. You are requested to kindly refrain from any movement during the course of an item when it is being performed on stage. Washroom facilities are available on either side of the auditorium. Thank you. All are requested to rise for the school prayer and the school song. The school prayer will be led by the school captain, Shiv Manish Punjabi. Please bow your head. O oh dear Good Shepherd, make our school a home away from our home. Make us always feel that we all belong to a family and that the teachers are like our parents. We believe that we must speak through them when we listen to them. Give more wisdom to all concerned with us so that they may guide us always on the right path. Make us know your presence and power by rewarding and punishing us. Let us not become proud when we are rewarded and let us not become humiliated when you punish us for our mistakes. Give us enough strength to forget and forgive as you forgive us of our sins. We thank you for the showers of blessings on this school, for its growth and progress into a big and a good school. Give us everything to make our lives in this school a happy one. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. The school song, Hail Good Shepherd, our alma mater.
please be seated. To kickstart the prestigious 47th Founders Day, the school choir and school orchestra are here to take you closer to the thoughts of a king who contemplates on the glories of his past. What's coming up next is a powerful and melodious song that will bring you to the edge of your seat and make you feel rejuvenated for the rest of the evening. A song that will not only act as a perfect launch pad for this soaring event, but will also give the message of living your life to the fullest. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present Coldplay's Viva La Vida, featuring a catchy melody, a powerful chorus, and a rich orchestral arrangement. The Grand Orchestra and School Choir of Good Shepherd International School, comprising more than 50 instrumentalists and 60 singers, is here to perform this oral treat, which has won several awards, including the Grammy Award for Song of the Year in 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Orchestra and School Choir, here to perform Viva La Vida. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Orchestra indeed took our breath away with that splendid opening performance. Please give the entire orchestra and the conductor, Mr. Chris Paul Philander, a big round of applause. Coming up next is a vocal rendition by the band Sweet Stars, comprising Emi Amrish Patel, Kushi Mensenkai, Amaya Vasa, Prajwal Sahu, Zachary Jacob, and Rishabh Rajesh Katam, who are here to perform the famous song Levitating by the English Albanian singer Dua Lipa from her second studio album, Future Nostalgia. That was a stunning performance by the band Sweet Stars. Please give them a big round of applause. Emi Amrish Patel, Kushi Mensenkai, Amaya Vasa, Rishabh Rajesh Katam, Prajwal Sahu, and Zachary Jacob. I now invite the principal and director, Dr. Madhav Dev Saraswat, to deliver the welcome address.
good evening all present here <coughs> there was a french a philosopher and a novelist he wrote a very profound observation and he wrote let us be grateful to the people who make us happy they are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom i am god with this with a sense of gratitude i welcome all the distinguished guests parents staff and some special guests who have joined us today it's my personal privilege to welcome mr sangeet vergis a renowned global leadership mentor and our esteemed chief guest for tomorrow's program we are also delighted to have with us mrs anu sangeet and their son mrs elsama thomas our co-founder and managing trustee mr jacob thomas our president mrs sara jacob our senior vice president and i also take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to the members of the school's advisory committee including mr ram subramanyam mr devendranath sarangi is and dr s narayan is dear parents guardians members of the media alumni ladies and gentlemen present here once again thank you very much for joining while i was preparing this speech for myself i received a call in the morning and i am sure that you must have heard that child is the father of man and this child happened to be my former student now he has become a parent and their child is with us at gsis so in the morning as a ritual he informed that he has arrived in uti and he would like to come and spend some time but while he was talking to me he also asked me a very pertinent question and this pertinent question was sir are you going to read your annual report instead of responding to that question i asked him that why are you asking this he said please don't bore the parents they have not come here to hear your report they are actually here to look at their kids and have fun for heaven's sake don't come in between i learned it child is the father of man thank you very much for reminding me believe me i will not come in between but there are two three things which i would like to share not only as a teacher but as the custodian of our children for almost 9 months in a year dear parents when you make time or when you make an effort to be part of such celebrations it is not only for the happiness of the child because there is an inherent statement which cannot be verbalized i am repeating myself that there is a hidden statement which cannot be and should not be verbalized and that statement is dear children you are at the core or the center of our lives thank you very much for letting your kids or our kids know that they are at the core or center of our lives so what should we be doing let's gather ourselves physically we are almost here 
But are we here mentally or emotionally? How many of us would get tempted to look at our mobile phones, check our messages? Or would we be focusing on what these children have been doing for last two months so that you go back with utmost happiness and joy. So my request to all of you is that be emotionally present. Be present for every child who has put his or her soul and mind in ensuring that you enjoy every minute of being here. Please encourage them, motivate them together as your own child. Don't be judgmental. Don't try to look at that how well they have done, but instead look that how much have they worked hard to be where they are. The school has tried to put almost every child on the stage either today or tomorrow. I have a humble submission to make that treat every child your own child. No matter how tempted you feel to walk out once you have seen your child performing, make an effort to stay back. This is just 120 minutes. Another thing I want all of us to know that how fortunate and how privileged we are. I'm not sure that if many of us would know that it was yesterday only that we were announced or we have been recognized as the, as the best re international residential school in the country for the second year in the row. This recognition speaks about us and it talks about the commitment of the management. And without you, without your support, we would not have been able to be there where we, we are. So again, once again, thank you very much for being part of the team. I'm not sure whether I should be doing my principal's job as well, but since I have the podium, I will just take 90 more seconds. 17th is our PTM. I would request all the parents to come, communicate, ask relevant questions, and please forgive me for saying when I say, Let's be respectful while asking questions because these teachers are looking after our kids on our behalf and it's a partnership. These teachers are in our service, in your service. But please don't treat them as service providers. Let's understand that together with this mindset we will be able to raise our kids well. And that's the purpose of education. For our kids from class 8 to 12, the school has organized career fair. There will be around 125 universities coming together to interact with our kids. Please take out some time, interact, see that where all our child can go or fit in. If we don't start working from today, tomorrow it might be quite late for all of us. With this, once again, thank you very much for joining us. Let's have fun. There is one girl, you should know, that there is one girl, whenever she will see me, she will make it a point to tell me, sir, just chill. So my friends, have fun and just chill. Thank you very much, sir, for those inspiring words of wisdom and encouragement. Now to take you to a world of fun and entertainment, here come the little toddlers from primary school. They are here to perform a song that expresses the happiness of reuniting with your beloved friends 
and how life is more vibrant and worthwhile with them beside you. Life's a happy song from the Muppets stays true to its name as it can turn a frown upside down. Li Life's a happy song is sung by Gary, Walter, and Mary, three friends who travel to Los Angeles to meet the Muppets. It was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song in 2012. Tonight, we are excited to present our own version of this song with our lovely choir and dance students. We hope you will join us in singing along to this song that celebrates life and friendship. Please welcome them on stage with a huge round of applause, the cute little Muppets of our school. They are here to enchant you with their singing and cute dance moves. lovable performance that was. The children deserve a huge round of applause for such a cute and memorable performance. The primary school choir was conducted by Mr. Joseph Nirmal Andrews and the dance was choreographed by Ms. Akshita. Ladies and gentlemen, the next performance is one that is bound to fill you with pure excitement and ineffable jubilation. A mesmerizing group of singers and dancers from middle school are here to perform One Direction's iconic number, Drag Me Down. These remarkable students are about to take you on a journey 
reminding us all that no challenge is too great when we have the support of our friends and a determined spirit. As they sing and dance to the rhythm of nobody can drag me down, let the lyrics inspire you to rise above adversity and embrace the power of unity. So, with boundless enthusiasm and thunderous applause, let us welcome these young and incredibly talented students from middle school once the curtains open. Let's welcome our performers with a rousing round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That was truly an exhilarating performance. The middle school choir was conducted by Mr. Joseph Nirmal Andrews, and the dance was choreographed by school students Krisha Dudat of grade 9 and Vanshika Shah of grade 9. Now, ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to be rocked by the rock blades as they entice you to tap your feet and clap your hands along with the exhilarating tunes and beats of the famous song, We Will Rock You, by none other than Queen. Please welcome the rock blades with a huge round of applause.
That was indeed a phenomenal performance by the rock band. On the vocals was Yarini Nandakumar and Kakumani Sai. The, ele the electronic guitar was played by Anand Singh Arora and Ashwini Ivan Bagaria. On the bass guitar was Dipanvita Pal. On the drums was Vihan Chopra. And on the cajon was Arav Tasar Sanklecha. Now, it's time to witness a magnificent gesture of fusion and celebration as the dancers of Good Shepherd International School transport you to the playful and festive ambience of the carnivals of Spain and China through their eloquent dance forms of flamenco from Spain and the famously celebrated fan dance and dragon dance from China. Flamenco dance is a passionate and expressive dance form which is an integral part of flamenco music and culture and is known for its powerful footwork, intricate hand movements and emotive storytelling. The Chinese fan dance is a traditional form, dance form and is characterized by the graceful and precise movements of dancers using handheld fans as props. The dance is often performed to traditional Chinese music and is known for its elegance, beauty and storytelling elements. The dragon dance is a beloved and iconic tradition in Chinese culture and its vibrant and colorful performances continue to captivate audiences worldwide. It showcases the rich heritage and cultural symbolism associated with dragons in Chinese folklore and mythology. So without further ado, it's time for the Red Carnival. Please put your hands together and welcome Team Footers to wow and amaze us with this delightful sight. Thank you. 
was Red Carnival for you, a performance that was truly a treat to the eyes. The dance was choreographed by Mr. Sudarshan Suresh Kumar of the dance department. Now, to turn the gears up with a cultural extravaganza, here comes a rock band, Sufi Crossovers, to perform a soulful Hindi song, Bulaya, from the hit movie, E Dil Hai Mushkil, originally sung by Preetam Chakrabarti, Amit Mishra, and Shilpa Rao. Our young, talented musicians are ready to present before you, Bulaya. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that dripping performance was given by Zarjish Ahmad Mola, Takshraj Vishal Jadeja, Abhinav Kumar Singh, Saket Sanjeev Petankar, Kabir Bhimal Patel, Maisha Harsh Parekh, and Shreya Vipul Bhai Lunagar. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to embark on a journey of sonic sensation as we present to you a phenomenal percussion ensemble. The percussion ensemble will now perform a playful piece of music that combines cheerful melody and bass. As three different melodic ideas merge, this piece of music transforms into an irresistible symphony. With a combination of instruments, including xylophones, congo drums, triangles, bass drums and cymbals, this performance will weave a tapestry of sound. Please welcome, with a huge round of applause, the percussion ensemble. That was indeed an incredible performance by the percussion ensemble. The ensemble was conducted by Mr. Rodel Padelia Celestial. Now, in the spirit of power and confidence, the rock band The Last of Us are here to perform the song that will take you back to your teenage years. Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana brings back fond memories to whoever listens to it. Along with this amazing song, they will also perform the iconic song Zombie by the Cranberries. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be propelled back to your high school years as The Last of Us perform these famous tracks by Nirvana and the Cranberries. Please welcome them with a huge round of applause.
indeed an exceptional performance by The Last of Us. On the vocals, we had Heer Sarvaya, the electric guitar, Satej Rahul Jadav, and Kritagya Mahajan, the bass guitar, Sai Singh, and the drums, uh, Agam Amit. Now the talented students of Good Shepherd International School are here to put on a show that will take you to the fantasy land of Oz. Coming up next is a musical that people around the world adore and relate to as it explores the other side of the creation of the villain, the Wicked Witch of the West. The story offers a fresh and intriguing perspective as a challenging enemy becomes a likable gal with flaws. With outstanding music and consistently amazing performances, the characters of the play and their experiences in the play truly strike a chord with the audience. The play delivers the important message of how self-belief can conquer anything. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the musical, Wicked. Return. 
greatest wickedness happen? Yes, a good question. One that many people find confused sometimes. Are the people born wicked or do they have wickedness trust upon them? After all, she had a childhood. She had a father who just happened to be the governor of Munchkin Land. What? Another meeting? Uh-huh. At this hour? Who on to be the governor of Munchkinland? Milena! She had a mother, as so many do. Rick. Mm, my files, my keys, my top hat. Another meeting. Rick. Milena, darling, I need you to find my top hat. Rick. Rick. Mayor, darling, you need to understand that everything I do, everything I give, all these sacrifices that I make, it's for our benefit. Our benefit. And for the future governor of Munchkinland. The future governor. So this meeting is really important for both of us. Files, uh, my top hat. Uh, bye, my love. <gasps> and like all... Family. We had six. Honey, he's gone. <laughs> Have another drink, my dark eyed beauty. I've got one more night left here in town. So have another drink of green elixir, and we'll have ourselves a little mixer. Have another little swallow, little lady, and follow me down. I'm off to the assembly, dear. I hate to go and leave you lonely. That's all right. It's only just one night. Then just know that you are here in my heart while I'm out of your sight. <sighs> Bye, my love. And who knows? Was she really that upset? He's gone. Oh my God. Hello, Rex. Now, Rex, we don't know if it's a boy or girl. What an idiot! But, 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 but. Yes, I'll wait by the, I'll wait by the, te the tele. Ah! The pain! Somebody, get me a midwife! Please! I think it's coming! Ah! It's okay. Sorry. It's coming! Ah! Is it there? Breathe. Oh, is it there? I see a nose. I see a curl. It's a perfectly healthy little... Ah! ah! What's that? What's wrong? And of course, from the moment she was born, she was, well, well, different. It... What does it mean? It's... It's atrocious! It's obscene! Like, like a, a froggy, froggy ferny, ferny cabbage, cabbage the, the babies, babies are naturally green. green! Take it away! Take it away! <sighs> so you see, it couldn't have been so easy. No, at last she's dead and gone. <laughs> goodness knows. We know what goodness is. Ooh. Goodness knows the wicked die alone. She, she died, died alone. alone. What do those? What, what do those? those? What goodness they are shown. <laughs> Oh, hallowed halls and 
Stop making a spectacle of yourself. I'm only sending you here for one reason. Yes, I know, to look after Nasseros. Oh, my precious little girl. A parting gift. Now, father, two shoes. <gasps> As befits the future governor of Munchkinland. Ooh. Elphaba, take care of your sister. I try not to talk so much. Welcome, 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 new students. I am Madam Morabel, headmistress here at Shiz University. And whether you're here to study logic, literature, or linguification, I know I speak for my fellow faculty members when I say we have nothing but the highest hopes for some of you. Excuse me. Oh, you must be the governor's daughter, Miss Nessa Rose, isn't it? What a tragically beautiful face you have, and who is... Ah! Who are you? I am the other daughter, Elphaba, and I'm beautifully tragic. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, I'm sure you are very bright. Right. She's first first. Now, regarding room assignments. Yes, is this regarding room assignments? Oh no, Madam Morabel, thank you for asking. But I've already been assigned a private suite. So, but, but you can all come visit me whenever you want. Yay! Yeah. How good of you. You're so good. No, I'm not. Yes, yes you, you are. are. Stop. Now, did you have a question? Yes. You see, I'm Galinda Upland. Of the upper Uplands. I've applied to your sorcery seminar, and indeed, that is my sole purpose of attending Shiz. To study sorcery with you, perhaps you recall my essay. Magic wands need to have a point. Ah, yes. But you see, my dear, I do not teach my seminar every semester. Unless, of course, someone special were to come along. Well, exactly. Madam, we have not received our room assignments yet. Your father did not mention you. Oh, a slight glitch, perhaps. Not to fret, I'll find some place to put you. You know, I don't even think she read my essay. That is so unfair. Uh, you, you should say something. <laughs> should I? Do it. Do it. Come on. Now, which one of you young students would like to share with Miss Alphaba? Madam Morabel. Oh, thank you, dear. How very good of you. Miss Alphaba, you may share with Miss Galinda. <gasps> now, the governor made his concern for your sister's well-being quite clear. So I thought it would be best that she shares my private compartment where I can assist her as needed. But madam, I've always looked after my sister. Everyone to your dormitories. But madam, let her go!
Oh, Miss Elphaba, my dear, my dear, I'll write at once to the wizard, tell him of you in advance, with a talent like yours, my dear. If you do as you should, you'll be making good. Madam Horvath. Not now, dearest, shoo, shoo. <laughs> this will just make me a better person, right? Loathing, 
or your face, your voice, your clothing. Let's just say, I love it all. Every little trait, however small, makes my very flesh begin to crawl. With simple letter loathing, there's a strange exhilaration in such total detestation. I don't think I could. She's a terror. She's a tartar. We don't mean to show bias, but Linda, you're a martyr. Well, these things are sent to try us. Orca Linda forced to resign. Someone so disgusted to get fired. And I am amazed to report the progress. Although, some of us still tend to favor form over content. Miss Glinda? It's ga, Linda, but the ga. Oh, excuse me, Miss Glinda? I really don't see what the problem is. Every other professor seems to be able to pronounce my name. Maybe pronouncing your precious name isn't the sole purpose of Dr. Dillman's life. Maybe he's not like every other professor. Maybe some of us are different. Well, it seems the artichoke is steamed. <laughs> Class! <laughs> Class! <laughs> Miss Alphaba has a point. As you know, I am the sole animal on the faculty. The token goat, as it were. But it wasn't always this way. Oh, dear students, how I wish you could have seen it as it once was. Where you could walk down the halls and see an antelope explicating a sonnet, a snow leopard solving an equation, a wildebeest waxing philosophic. Don't you see, dear students? How our dear Oz is becoming less and less, well, colorful. <laughs> <laughs> now, who can tell me what sent these events into motion? Myself, about. Well, from what I know, it all started with a great drought. Exactly. Food grew scarce. People grew hungrier <laughs> and angrier. And the question became, whom can we blame? Can anyone tell me what is meant by the term scapegoat? Someone besides Miss Alphaba? Ah, yes, Miss Linda. It's ga, Linda, it's the ga. And I don't see where you just cannot teach us history instead of always harping on the past. Well, perhaps these questions I've prepared will enlighten you. Animals should be seen and not heard. What's that? Who is responsible for this? I'm waiting for an answer. 
Very well then. That will be all for today. You heard me. Class dismissed! <laughs> oh, look at that. You go on ahead, Nessa. Animals should be seen and not heard. That is so disturbing. Miss Alphaba, don't worry about me. Go along and enjoy your friends. <laughs> well, I have no friends. Um, would you like to share my lunch? Oh, thank you. How kind. I seem to have lost my appetite. Uh, well, you really shouldn't let statements like that bother you. I mean, I always do, but you really shouldn't. Oh, Miss Alphaba. If it were only a matter of words on a chalkboard. But the things one hears these days. Dreadful things, Miss Alphaba. I've heard of an ox, a professor from Fox, no longer permitted to teach, who has lost all powers of speech. And an owl in Munchkin Rock, a vicar with a thriving flock, forbidden to preach. Now he only can screech. Only rumors, but still, enough to give pause to anyone with pause. Something bad is happening in Oz. Something bad is happening in Oz. Under the surface, behind the scenes, something bad. Sorry. Bad. Dr. Dilliman, are you alright? Shall I fetch you a glass of water? No. I don't know what came over me. So, you're saying that there are some animals that have somehow forgotten how to speak. But how is that even possible? Well, with so much pressure not to, but a marble. You are still here. And I thought you would have been on your way to my seminar by now. Madam, I would be, but... But what? I hope I have not misplaced my trust in you, my dear. Magic is a very demonstrating mystery. And if one has ambitions of meeting the wizard, I'm sure Dr. Dilliman sees my point. Dr. Dilliman, if something bad is happening to the animals, Someone has to tell the wizard. That's why we have a wizard. So nothing bad, nothing, nothing all, all that, that bad. bad. Nothing truly bad. Sorry. Bad. It couldn't happen here in Oz. Couldn't happen here in Oz. Animals can't speak anymore. How is that even possible? Hey, you! Miss, you disturb him. So what? Wake up, you brat. Good lady, do you even realize who this is? No, and I don't care who he is. Apologies, my son. Well, here we are, sir. Chase University. What? Already? Yes, sir. Don't worry, Avrik. I'm sure I won't last longer at this school than I did at any of the others. Okay, sir. Always be at your service. Uh, uh, Miss Linda, uh, I know I'm just a mere munchkin, but uh, munchkins have feelings too, and, and I've been trying to tell you mine for you. But sometimes it seems like you don't even know I'm there. That's not true, Bick. It's Bok. Bick! Do you know who that is? That's Fierro Tigular. That winky prince whose reputation is so scandalous. <laughs> Why are you looking for something? Or perhaps <coughs> someone? Yeah, history class. I don't know, somewhere over there? <laughs> uh, history class is way over there, my friend. W way over there. <laughs> that class just ended. Oh, perfect timing. So, uh, what does one do for fun around here? Nothing. Really? Until now? Uh, what? We've been studying? 
I see the responsibility to corrupt my fellow students falls to me. Nah, fortunately, I'm up for the task. You see, Avrik, the trouble with the school is they always try to teach the wrong lesson. Believe me, I have been kicked out of enough of them, you know. They want you to become less callow, less shallow, but I'd say, why invite stress in? Stop studying and strive and learn to live the unexamined life. Dancing through life, skimming the surface, gliding where turf is smooth. Life's more painless for the brainless. Why think too hard when it's so soothing? Dancing through life, no need to tough it. When you can slough it off as I do Nothing matters, but knowing nothing matters It's just life, so keep dancing Dancing through life, swaying and sweeping And always keeping cool Life is fraughtless when you're thoughtless those who don't try never look foolish Dancing through life, mindless and careless Make sure you wear less trouble in life Woes are fleeting, blows are glancing When you're dancing Swankified place in town. That would be the Ozdust Ballroom. Sounds perfect! Let's go down to the Ozdust Ballroom. We'll meet there later tonight. We can dance till it lights. Find the prettiest girl. Give her a whirl. Right on down to the Ozdust Ballroom. Come on, follow me. for me. I'll be waiting right there, right by your side, waiting all night. How very kind of you, Big. Fuck. But do you know what would be even kinder? See that tragically beautiful girl? The one on the chair. It seems so unfair. We should go on a spree and not she. She. I know someone would be my hero if that someone would go and invite her. Well, maybe I could invite her. Big, really, you would do that for me. I would do... Uh, <coughs> I would do anything for you, Miss Glinda. Excuse me, Miss Nessrose. There's something I'd like to ask you. You're good. I don't know what you mean by that, but I happen to be free tonight, so... So I'll be picking up around eight? After all, I see we'll get along just fine. I do hope so. You're, you're perfect. And you're charming. So, so we're, we're perfect, perfect together. together. Born, Born to, to be, be forever. forever. Hand, hand in hand, hand throughout life. life. This silly, rich boy appears and everyone's off to worship him. Like some social cultures gathering. Oh, Elfie, even me, I'm going. Isn't it wonderful? Bok was too shy to ask me at first. But once Galinda encouraged him... Galinda? Don't you dare say another word against her. I'm about to have the first happy night of my life. All thanks to Galinda. Finally, Elfie. For this one night, I'm about to have a fun night 
with this munchkin boy, Galinda, found for me. If only there was something I could do to repay her. Alphabet C, we deserve each other. And Galinda made it happen. We deserve each other. Me and Bach, please, Alphabet, try to understand. Uh, I do. Okay. Do me up. Do me up now. I must accessorize myself for Fiera. Uh, um, Galinda, what in Oz's name? Pretend you didn't see that. <coughs> My grandma used to buy me most tedious looking hats. I used to give them away, but I don't hate anyone that much anymore, so there's no... Yes, yes you, you do. do. I couldn't. Could I? Yes, uh, Galinda, Miss and I were just talking about you. And and, 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 and I was just talking about you. I thought you might want to wear this hat to the party tonight. It's really in fashion, don't you think? So here, out of the goodness of my heart, you deserve this hat. You deserve each other. You and hat deserve each other. Lemons and melons and pears. Oh, my. Uh, listen, Nessa. Uh, Nessa, I've got something to confess. Uh, there's a reason why I asked you here tonight. Now, I know it isn't exactly fair. Oh, Bok, I, I think I know why. You do? It's because I'm in this chair, and you felt sorry for me. Well, isn't that right? Uh, no, uh, it's because, uh, because you're so beautiful. Oh, Buck, I think you're wonderful, and we deserve each other. Don't you see? This is our chance. We deserve each other, don't we, Buck? Uh, y yeah, you know what? Let's dance. What? or she would quit the seminar. But why? I have no idea. My personal opinion is that you do not have what it takes. I hope you prove me wrong, though. <laughs> I doubt you will. <laughs> what is it? I got what I wanted. Then what's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. Excuse me.
your very first party ever. Your very first party. Oh, oh, I know. Let's tell each other something we've never told anyone before. I'll go first. Fiero and I are going to be married! Really? He's asked you already? Oh, he doesn't know yet. Now, you tell me a secret. Uh, like what? <laughs> like, why do you sleep with this funny little green bottle under your pillow? Which? Hey, give that back! Oh, oh, now tell me, tell me! It was my mother's, that's all. That's not fair. I told you a really good one. My father hates me! <gasps> no, that's not the secret. Then what is? The way my sister is the way she is. You see, when my mother was carrying Nessa, my father was worried that the baby might come out green. So he made my mother chew milk flowers day and night, but that just made Nessa come out too soon with her legs all tangled. And my mother never woke up. All of which would have never happened if not for me. <laughs> but that's the, that's the milk flowers fault, not yours. That may be yours, you get out for that, but that does not make it true now. Oh, look, look, it's tomorrow, Elfie. Elfie, do you mind if I call you Elfie? Elfie, it's, well, it's a little perky. <laughs> and you can call me Galinda. So, now that we are friends, I've decided to make you my new project. Well, you really don't have to make me your project. <laughs> I know. That's what makes me so nice. Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I, and let's face it, who isn't? Less fortunate than I, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over, I know. I know exactly what they need. And even in your case, Though it's the toughest case I've yet to face. Don't worry, I'm determined to succeed. Follow my lead. And yes, indeed, you will be popular. You're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper place when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and flounce. Show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair. Another slang you've got to know So let's start Cause you've got an awfully long way to go Don't be offended by my frank analysis Think of it as personality dialysis Now that I've chosen to become a palace There's no There's nobody wiser Not when it comes to popular I know about popular And with an assist from me And to be who you be Instead of dreary who you are that didn't stop you from becoming popular Lar La 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 We're gonna make you popular When I see depressing creatures With their prepossessing features I remind them on their own behalf To think of celebrating heads of state Or especially great communities anymore. Your whole life is going to change. All because of me. So, get up now. Let's turn your frock into a beautiful ball gown. Ball gown. Ball gown. Is this thing even on? Do you want me to try? No, I've got it. I've got it. You know what? 
just wear this frock. It's very pretty, don't you think? And now I'll teach you how to flip your hair. Toss, toss. You could use your hands. Toss, toss. Or you could use your whole body. Toss, toss. Okay, now for the finishing touch. A lipstick. Must. Oh, oh my. Oh. Why, myself, huh? Look at you. You look so beautiful. Oh my god, I look so ugly. I, I have to go. You're welcome. But thank me at least. Hello. Oh, okay, there are no props here. Cool. Nothing, it's just that you've been galindified. You don't have to do the flip, flip thing, you know. All right, take your seats, class. I have something to say. Very little time to say it. This is my last day here at Shiz. I'm no longer permitted to teach. I want to thank you all for your sharing, your enthusiasm. Your essays, no matter how feebly structured, and even on occasion, you're lunch. Dr. Dillamond, I'm so dreadfully sorry. Madam Horrible, you have got to do something. Miss Elphaba, they can take away my job, but I shall continue speaking out. Come on, go on. They're, they're not telling you the whole story. Move. Remember that, class. Remember that. Are we just going to sit here? Miss Alphaba, there is nothing we can do. Please take your seat. Professor! Students! 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Professor. Every day, with every tick of the time dragon clock, and in every corner of our great Oz, one uses the silence of progress. For example, class, this is called a cage. Now, in the future, we will be seeing more and more of them, as it's actually for the animal's own good. This is not my Oh, well, he's just excited to be here. That's all. Now, as I was saying, class, one of the advantages of caging a tiger's cub this young in his life is that he will never, in fact, learn how to speak. What? That's right, class. Come closer. Can you imagine a world where animals are kept and then have? Now, he may seem a bit agitated, but that's easily remedied. <laughs> Uh, could we? Somebody has to do something! What is happening? I don't know. I got mad at Alright, just don't move and don't get mad at me. Are you coming? I'm not. Don't 
Don't you think I realize that? You must be completely stupid or something. And why is it that every time I look at you, you're causing some sort of commotion? I don't cause commotions. I am. One. But that's for sure. Hold on, hold on. So I should just keep my mouth shut. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that you should. I think I want to guess. I should think I want to be this. Look, thing. maybe. You don't even know how much easier my life would be. Do you ever let anyone else talk? Look, all I want to say is that. So? Excuse me, but there is no pretense here. I happen to be genuinely self-absorbed and deeply shallow. Fine, if you don't want my help. You didn't mean to do what? And why was I the only one who you didn't do it to? I am. I better get a safety. I mean the cup, the cup to safety. Dear. 
Weather is my specialty. All speed, my dear. Hand me your bag, quick. And off to the wizard you go. Make me proud. I will. I'll try. And finally, there'll be the wizard and I. All aboard. Come on, everyone. What's our board, huh? Alphaba, Alphaba. Tessa? Oh, Elfie, I'm so proud of you. And I know father would be too. We're all proud, aren't we? You'll be all right. Oh, she will be just fine. Bic will take care of her, right? Bic. Bok, Bok, wait, Bok. That's all. Wait, this, listen to me. That's all. Oh, wait, no. healthy. Let her go. She'll have to manage without you. We all will. <laughs> You barely even know that I'm here. Besides, you have Piero. Where is he? Any? Not that I expected him to come and say goodbye to you. Um, Alphaba. Uh, good luck. Bye. Take care. There. See? What? Galinda. I don't care. I want him. I don't even think he's perfect anymore, and I, and I still want him. <gasps> Is this how other people feel like? How do they pair it? <laughs> they embrace this. They embrace this. Linda, how wait. do they embrace this? Linda. 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 Oh, what is it? I got a Glinda for myself up again. Come with me. Where? To the Emerald City. I always wanted to visit the Emerald City. One short day in the Emerald City. Check the wizard's gonna see us now. Look at that. What is it? I am Oz, the great and terrible. Who are you? And why do you seek me? Yes. <coughs> oh, is that you, Alphaba? I didn't realize. I hope I didn't startle you. You see, it's so hard to make our people's faces from all the way back there. Now let's see, which is which? Alphaba, and you must be? Uh, Glinda, the girl is silent. 
I know, I know, it isn't much. But people expect this sort of thing. You have to give people what they want. The thing is, I hardly ever let people meet the real me. But this being a special occasion. I I'm so happy to meet you. Well, that's good. Because that's what I love best. Making people happy. I am a sentimental man who always longed to be a father. That's why I do the best I can to treat each citizen of ours as son or daughter. So Elphaba, I'd like to raise you high because I think everyone deserves the chance to fly and helping you with your scent allows me to feel so parental for I am a sentimental man. Oh, you're all this. I knew you would help. But you see, we are not just here for ourselves. Oh. We are not? No, we are here to alert you that something bad is happening. Oh, please. I am the Wizard of Oz. I already know why you've come. And I fully intend to grant your request. But of course, you must prove yourself first. Prove yourself? Prove yourself? But how? Oh, I know. Madam, the book. Madam Marable? I believe you're well acquainted with my new press secretary. Press secretary? Oh yes, dearies. You see, I have risen up in the world. You'll find that the wizard is a very generous man. If you do something for him, he, he could do much for you, Miss Alphaba. But what do you want me to do? Go well, ahead. this is my monkey servant, Chistri. She looks so longingly at the birds every morning. So, the wizard was thinking perhaps a levitation spell. Is that the glory? Yes. The ancient book of spells and enchantments. Can I touch no. <clears throat> What funny writing is this? Well, it's the lost language. The lost language of spells. It's kind of a recipe book for a chain. Don't worry if you can't decipher it, Jerry. I myself can only read a spell or two and that took years and years. Our rain tatty, our may at him. Our rain tatty, our may at him. What experience you about to have? Our may at him, our rain tatty. Our rain tatty. Since once I am a rain sky, I know everyone deserves the chance to fly. I told you, I told you she could do look. You're right, you're right. That's a harsh word. How about scouts? That's what they'll be really. They'll fly around us, reporting subversive animal activity. So it's you. You are behind all of it. You see, Alphaba, from where I come from, there was a lot of discord and discontent. And everyone knows that the best way to bring folks together is to give them a really good enemy. You, you can't read this book at all, can you? That is why you need spies, enemies, and cages. You have no real power. Exactly, that's why I need you, don't you see? The world is your oyster. You have so many opportunities ahead of you. You too. Oh, thank you, Yasmus. Since once I have my own day in the sky, I know everyone deserves the chance no! to- No! Alpha Ball! Alfie! I'm so sorry, Wizard Ship. I'll fetch her back. Effie, wait! We must get her back. She knows too much. Don't worry, your all ship. I'll handle it.
no. Paranormal says this might be that. Ephaba, listen to me. Wait, I have to barricade the door. Ephaba, can't you have just said come for once instead of flying off the handle? Citizens of Oz, there is an enemy that must be found and captured. Believe nothing, she says. She's responsible for the mutation of these poor innocent monkeys. Her green skin is an outward manifestation of her twisted nature. This distortion, this repulsion, this wicked witch, find her and capture her at once! Don't be afraid. Did you see? I'm not. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. Alfie, just say you're sorry before it's too late. Come down. In the name of the Supreme Almost. Oh no, she's casting that hideous spell. Stop! Stop! What are you doing? That's what they started all of this in the first place. That hideous levitation spell. Well, who are your wings? Maybe you're not powerful as you think. You are. I told you I could do it, Linda. I told you. What? Come with me. Think of what we could do together. Unlimited. Together we're unlimited. Together we'll be the greatest team there's ever been. There's no fight we cannot win. Just you and me defying gravity. With you and I defying gravity. They'll never bring us down. Well, are you coming? Choosing this, you too. I hope it brings you bliss. I really hope you get it and you don't live to regret it. I hope you're happy.
that was truly a stunning performance. Please put your hands together for the entire cast and crew of Wicked. who have worked tirelessly to put up this splendid musical. The play was directed by Ms. Shazia Parveen. The sound manager was Mr. Sahil Kapoor. The dance on stage was choreographed by Ms. Akshita and Mr. Sudarshan. The choir on stage was conducted by Mr. Chris Paul Philander and Mr. Joseph Nirmal Andrews. Now, get ready to feel your heartbeat matching the beat of the drums as the immortals present the iconic song In the End by Linkin Park. With lyrics that pack an emotional punch, this is a song that will truly make you ponder on its creation. In the End's captivating piano riff is what propelled this song into popu popularity. I call upon the immortals to perform this popular song on stage. Please welcome them with a huge round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause to our rock stars on stage. 
Dear rock stars, give us all a wave as I take your names. We have Kiara Dhawal Shah, Tejaswini Jeff, Ahan Sandeep Kursude, and Ganeev Singh Saluja, Pratham Sitani, Saket Sanjeev Paitankar, and Siri Nishchay Nagpal. Following that wonderful performance, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be transported back in time with a beloved Rhythms and Blues classic. As the mixed ensemble takes the stage, they are ready to deliver a captivating performance of Stevie Wonder's unforgettable song, Part-Time Lover. With smooth melodies and irresistible rhythms, they'll channel the essence of this timeless hit, leaving you dancing and singing along to every note. Stevie Wonder is celebrated for his soulful melodic compositions and the ensemble will embrace this legacy. Enjoy the magic of this musical journey. Get ready to groove and feel the rhythm. Please put your hands together for the mixed ensemble. Gentlemen, let's give our students a huge round of applause. The mixed ensemble was conducted by Mr. Joseph Ray Tolentino.
In the wake of the mixed ensemble, we have the rock band Purple Haze here. The band is about to perform the song that reflects the message of the ability of music to be created anywhere and everywhere. Smoke on the Water by the eminent rock band Deep Purple holds the power and euphony to make the listener tap their feet and groove to its captivating tune. Please welcome the rock band Purple Haze, which will light the stage on fire with its performance of Smoke on the Water. And rock stars, why don't you all give us a wave? <laughs> Fire in the sky 
That was truly a fantabulous performance by Purple Haze. On the vocals was Neve Rajesh Gada and Neve Darshan Karya. The electric guitar was played by Vansh Lalwani. On the bass guitar was Maitik Bharat Agara. On the keyboard was Zachary Jacob. And Kabir Bimal Patel kept the drums captivating. We now welcome the Indian Music Ensemble to perform their melodious recreations of the famous songs Ma, GRA, and Montare. The Indian Music Ensemble will now render a medley of three iconic Bollywood songs, and they are bound to target your heartstrings. The songs in the medley include the emotionally charged Ma from Tare Zameenpar and the heart wrenching numbers GRA and Montare. The Indian Music Ensemble is here to steal your hearts. So please welcome them with a huge round of applause. Thank you. 
That performance by the Indian Music Ensemble was conducted by Mr. Vishnu Chandran, and the percussion arrangement was conducted by Mr. Prakash Livingston. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a truly iconic moment in music. As our band, the acoustic band, ascends the stage, they're about to take us on a journey to Stairway to Heaven, a masterpiece by the legendary English band Led Zeppelin. With the power of their instruments and deep involvement, they promise to channel the essence of this timeless classic. Get ready to be moved as we welcome the acoustic band to the stage. Let the magic of Stairway to Heaven unfold before your very eyes and ears. On the bass guitar, we have Abhinav Kumar Singh. Percussion support is provided by Ayush Agarwal. Divyansh Singh is playing the shaker. Arav Manoj Jangid is playing the melodica. On the bass guitar, we have Maitik Bharat Aghara. And drums by Steve Benoy. And the flute will be played by Parat Chauhan. Dear musicians, why don't you all give us a wave? Dear parents and guardians, all the rock band and acoustic band performances were conducted by Mr. Devendra Singh Bhandari, Mr. Nikhil S. Kumar, and Mr. John Joseph. As we near the end of this talent-filled evening, it is time to witness a breathtaking grand closing, a fusion of Indian classical dances and Bollywood moves. Indian classical dances are essentially gesture dances. The Natya Shastra by Rishi Bharata has prescribed the movements and usage of all limbs with facial expressions as means of articulating ideas and expressing emotions to tell a story. The highlight of Bollywood movies are elaborate dance sequences for original soundtracks. Over the years, Bollywood movies have developed their own signature style of song and dance. This style of dance has become a form in itself and has been adapted across the globe in several languages for various performances. Having fused them together, we would like you to experience the best of both worlds 
a wonderful fusion of Indian classical and Bollywood dancers. So watch as our passionate dancers enthrall you with a spectacular performance. The grand finale dance.
That was truly an enthralling performance. This beautiful dance was choreographed by Miss Akshita. 
Once again, please put your hands together for all the dancers who made this performance truly a grand success. Dear parents and guardians, this evening's program was undoubtedly a marvelous treat to everyone, filling our hearts with joy and pride as our students showcased their talents under the guidance of their teachers. The entire team of GSIs, all students, staff at all levels, a special mention of the sound and light team, every individual was able to give their best under the support of guidance and encouragement of the management. Team GSIs deserves a huge round of applause. Dear parents and guardians, this is only the end of day one. We are ready for another round of spectacular performances next morning in the open air stadium where you are requested to be seated by 9.15 a.m. All are requested to rise for the national anthem. <laughs>